Yesterday was a big day for India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took oath of office for a historic third term. But during the swearing-in ceremony, news broke of a terrible terrorist attack in Jammu and Kashmir's Riyasi. Terrorists attacked a bus carrying pilgrims. They opened fire at the bus. The bus lost control and fell into a gorge. Nine people were killed. Thirty others were injured. Pakistan-backed TRF has claimed responsibility for this attack. It is a terrorist group linked to the lashkar e -Toyba, and they've said that there will be more such attacks. Our next report tells you more. The bus was on its way from Shiv Khodi Cave Shrine. It's in Jammu and Kashmir's Riyasi district. It was headed to Katra, a town famous for the Vaishno Devi temple. The bus was passing through dense forests and hilly terrain. That's when the attack happened. Terrorists were apparently waiting for the bus. Two of them opened fire. The gunfire hit the driver. He lost control of the vehicle and the bus veered off the road and fell into a gorge. Nine people were killed, 30 others were injured. All of them were pilgrims from Uttar Pradesh, Delhi and Rajasthan. Pakistan backed the Resistance Front, or TRF, have claimed responsibility for the attack. It is an offshoot of the lashkar e -Taiba. The terror group was founded in 2019, and since then it has been behind multiple attacks. In 2023, India designated TRF a terrorist organization. TRF have warned of more such attacks on tourists and non-locals, calling the Riyasi attack only the beginning of a renewed start. The news of the attack broke as Narendra Modi took oath as Prime Minister for the third time. PM Modi has taken stock of the situation. He has asked for the best medical care to be provided to the injured. The rescue operations have concluded now, but the Indian Army has launched a search operation. Police have launched a manhunt to track down the attackers. Special forces and police officers are now searching the Riyasi area, deploying drones to scan the forested area from above. इस पूरी ऑपरेशन के लिए ड्रोन्स जो हैं वो लगाए गए हैं साथ ही साथ हमने पांच टीम्स बनाई हैं जो कि जितने भी आर जॉइनिंग फॉरेस्टेड एरिया हैं उनको कोम करते हुए अलोंग विद द वीडीजी मेंबर्स जो हमारे हैं उनके साथ हम लोग कोमिंग ऑपरेशन करते हुए यहाँ यहीं पे आके सारे के सारे कंक्लूड करेंगे। There was no specific input regarding this site। हम जर्नली हमने हाई अलर्ट रखा हुआ था। Both the shrines were on high alert। वहाँ की सारी नफरी जो है, वो भी अलर्ट पे थी। ये आप देख सकते हैं कि ये बिल्कुल साथ में joining रजौरी है। This area belongs to रजौरी पुलिस। ये नीचे वाला जो part है, ये रियासी को belong करता है। ये सड़क जो है, वो रियासी को belong करती है। so, उस तरीके से कहा जाए कि बिल्कुल border पे उन्होंने आके strike किया है। अब यार still investigating that part की वो आए कहाँ से थे, उन्होंने route कौन सा पकड़ा था? This attack is similar to a 2017 incident in the region. Seven pilgrims were killed after their bus got caught in a gun battle between police and terrorists. They were returning from the Amarnath pilgrimage. TRF has also been responsible for terror attacks in Rajouri and Pooch over the last month. According to Home Ministry data, eight civilians have been killed in Jammu and Kashmir in the first five months of 2024. While the deaths may have come down, cross-border terrorism continues to bleed Kashmir. And this new attack has raised concerns over the Amarnath pilgrimage. The annual Yatra draws millions of pilgrims every year. This year, it is set to begin from the 29th of June and will go on till the 19th of August. After the attack in Riyasi, security officials are now reviewing security measures for the upcoming pilgrimage to make sure it goes off without any trouble. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent.
Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.